I am trying to be on a roll for y'all, man. I promise. Greetings from Beyond Beautiful People. It's Beyond Favorite cutting at your neck again with another one and welcome to my world. You guys, the last video that I uploaded, it didn't do so well, but it didn't do bad either. You guys, make sure you guys share the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tap that notification bell so that you guys can know when I post another video. I'm trying to stay consistent for you guys. Damn, I was about to study. Did y'all see that? I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to stay consistent for you guys. I really am. Um, I have a lot more time on my hands, so I think I'm going to start doing TikTok and YouTube. It's going to be a challenge, you guys, but I am there to do it because you guys are there to do it with me. Y'all, let's do it. As you guys can tell from the title, we're going to be doing a spicy... What are we doing today? What is it? It's not a spicy Q&A, you guys. We're going to be doing a Never Have I Ever. <laughs> We're going to be doing a Never Have I Ever. Um, I was going to do a spicy Q&A, but I wasn't feeling it tonight, so I was like, let me go ahead and do a Never Have I Ever. That way, the next vlog would be a spicy Q&A. I got you. I got you. But before we get into today's video, as I mentioned, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe again. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tap that notification bell so that you guys can know when I post another video because I do it strictly for you. 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 Uh, uh, you, you, and you, and you, and you. Hey, y'all remember when Whitney Houston was on the award and <laughs> she was performing and she was like, and I, will always love you and 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 you <laughs> and you guys i'll be getting distracted but let's get into the video let's get into the video all right so this is a never have i ever never have i ever first question is never have i ever spun the block relink with the next i guess I'm a Michelin tire. <laughs> I am a Michelin tire. Hell yeah, I've spun the block. But those who know, who have actually spun the block, knows why they spin the block. I spun the block, I'ma spin the block on you. Hey, yeah, I'ma spin the block on you. But you can't play with me no more, but I still spin the block. I just play chess, not checkers. All right, next question. Never have I ever gotten upset with a celebrity that doesn't know that I exist. <laughs> hey, hey guys, I don't know why this is so funny, bro. Like, I think this is not just me. This is everyone. Everyone gets upset at some sort of celebrity for something. And I guess this is all a part of being in the public eye. But everybody gets upset. Whether that person is the worst person in the world for the moment. Whether got down that person done some shit. Like, I get upset at celebrities that just basically don't know that I exist at all. And I'm okay with that. Because I vented at the moment. But it just goes to show you how the media just go ahead and, and, and put these people in the fucking public eye to fucking for nothing you feel what i'm saying just to give us entertainment i was entertained off of it i don't know about you but if i'm talking about it like that yeah i'm entertained but yeah i've gotten upset with a few celebrities just because they do dumb shit you know what i'm saying they get all this money and they know they're in the fucking public eye and they just go out there and do dumb shit so yeah i've gotten upset at a few celebrities especially mr 44 Never have I ever gotten upset with a celebrity. Oh, no, excuse me. That's the same question. Never have I ever lost a fight. Yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. I don't portray to be the biggest, baddest dude on earth. You know what I'm saying? 
I've lost a few fights. I've lost a few fights. But I've won just as many as I lost. You feel what I'm saying? I, uh, fighting and violence is not my go-to. But he ain't no bitch. So yeah, I've, I've lost, I've lost a few fights. But I've won just as many as I lost. But you gotta get your ass whooped a few times to know what not to do the next go around. So it makes you a stronger person. So hell yeah. Yeah, I've lost a fight. Next question. Never have I ever gotten drunk in public. Yo. When I get drunk in public, it's not that aggressive drunk. It's not a sloppy drunk. It's just a let's turn the fuck up type drunk. You get what I'm saying? I've gotten drunk in public multiple times. I have. And those who are not 21 years age of older, I don't condone this. But it's okay to drink, be responsible, and have fun as well. Yeah, I've gotten drunk in public. And those have been my best nights of my life. I need to start drinking in public again. Hey, I don't drink in public, you guys. <laughs> Alright, you guys, next question. Never have I ever... Cried over a movie. Hmm. No, no. I don't think I've ever cried. Yes, hey. Yes, I have cried over a movie. Man, listen. The Passion of Christ. I think I was like 11 or 12 when it came out. The Passion of Christ. I'm a big religious person. I was raised in church. My grandma, she went to church every Sunday. My mom, she was a very religious person. I'm a very religious person. The Passion of Christ, for those who know, know. The Passion of Christ was something, dude. Yo, I cried. I cried. That was crazy. I cried. If you guys are religious and you haven't seen that movie yet, if you can handle it, go watch that movie. That was a very, very... It's a very heartwarming movie, yo. Go watch the movie, Passion of Christ. But yes, I've cried over a movie. All in my business. Never have I ever gotten fired. Gotten fired from a job? Of course, from a job. Uh, have I ever gotten fired? Damn. No, I don't think I've ever gotten fired, you guys. Like, as weird as this may sound, I haven't had many jobs in my life. I work my ass off and I like to stay at a job for a few years. Like I don't like to job hop. It's not cool to job hop unless you're like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's not cool to job hop. That doesn't look good for your resume. So wherever I stay, I like to stay for a while. But um, I will say this, I have walked off of a job. But that's not the same as getting fired. I quit that bitch. It was playing with my top. I quit them, yo. I quit them. But no, I've never gotten fired. Hey, I've never gotten fired. Hey, yo, I do the damn thing, man. I've never gotten fired. How many of y'all can say that? Don't lie. Next question. Never have I ever lied about someone's food being good. <laughs> hey, I have. I have, but I didn't want to hurt their feelings. I didn't want to hurt their feelings at all. It was Thanksgiving. And you know, everybody think they can cook on Thanksgiving. Everybody think they can cook. Everybody want to make a dish. And some dishes are your specialty, and some dishes you just need to leave the fuck alone. This particular person should have just left the shit alone and stuck to what they know. If you know that you bring paper cups, paper plates, paper forks every year, don't switch that up. You bring motherfucking paper cups, paper forks, and paper plates. <laughs> Plastic utensils, I'm sorry. You guys, this person decided to make some potato salad. Now, I'm sensitive about potato salad. I am. Everyone can't make potato salad. I barely can make potato salad. 
And it's it's hard. You feel what I'm saying? It's hard for someone to nail the perfect potato salad. Yo, I already knew the potato salad was garbage when I looked at it. As soon as I looked at it, I was like, oh, this shit is garbage. This shit is garbage. It's garbage. This person is making sure that everybody gets some of their potato salad on their plate. So you know me, I'm trying to stuff my plate. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that I don't have enough room on my shit for the potato salad. So she goes, did you get some potato salad? I said, no, I'm going to go back for some. I'm going to go back for some. She said, oh, well, just get a bowl. Here, we got, we got paper bowls, too. Yo, she gets me a bowl full of her damn potato salad. And she's monitoring everybody at the table while they're eating it. Man. Y'all, I took a spoonful of that potato salad and gagged it. I said, she said, how it tastes? I said, it's real good. It's real good. Yeah, I'm so I'm full. Yeah, I'm full. I'm rubbing my stomach, talking about something I'm full. No, damn well, I saved that for last for a reason. I ain't even touched my plate because I wanted to get that shit out the way. I'm saying, man, this is crazy. All right, so I take a bite of the damn potato salad. I immediately regret that shit. Spit it in a napkin when she goes to, to do something else. I try to scoop it in the trash can. And she walks in the kitchen and I said, <laughs> I said, I'm so mad. I had to throw my potato salad out. A fly flew right in my potato salad. She said, oh yeah, wait some more over there. You guys, I said, yeah, I'm going to go get some soon. Man, I peeled up out of there. <laughs> I was gone. I was a track star, yo. But yeah, nah, everybody can't cook. Stick to what you know. Next question. <laughs> Never have I ever broke something and acted like I didn't know who did it or what happened to it. <laughs> Alright, so I won't say that I broke something. I would just say that I was trying to be friendly and it was helping a person move. And I picked up her couch and her nephew picked up her couch on the other side and we lift that bitch. And we ended up making a sharp turn into this piece of rock or brick that was sticking out the wall on our way, taking the couch out to the moving truck. And it like put like a three or four inch tear in her couch. And <laughs> we was already hot, sweating and mad as fuck that day. So we was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. But uh, we did end up telling that person. So, yeah. But yeah, I haven't broken anything, but I damaged someone's property and just like didn't tell them. Didn't tell him. I act like I ain't no shit. I was like, she was like, what the fuck happened to my couch? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. That's a long ass rip, bro. Shit crazy. <laughs> All right, never have I ever embarrassed myself over an ex. Embarrassed myself over an ex. No, no. I don't think I've ever embarrassed myself over an ex. Y'all, I'm a Scorpio, so I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, embarrass myself over you? For what? Why? I'm not about to do that. Make myself, that ruins my image. You don't know who I, who I plan to be one day, you know? No, I'm not about to embarrass myself over you. You gained enough off of me. Just by being in my presence. <laughs> now nah, you guys, but no, I've never embarrassed myself over this. Now I wouldn't expect anyone to embarrass themselves over me. Like, we're both human. Let's just walk away from the situation or be friends. Whatever. It is what it is. You feel me? Next question. Never have I ever... <laughs> never have I ever fallen asleep on the job. Fallen asleep on the job. Have I fell asleep on the job before? Yes, yo, I used to work overnight, you guys. I used to work overnight. I used to work after, I used to have two jobs. I used to work overnight. And when I worked overnight, man, it was rough. 
getting off of a, a, a evening shift and going straight into an overnight job, you guys. I salute anyone that does it. I've done it for three years, four years, I believe, four years. And it's not easy. It's not easy. But, <laughs> you guys, I used to be knocked the fuck out at the airport. I'm talking like I'd be in the damn booth like this. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Are you good? Are you good? Type shit. Like, it is real. It is real, you guys. Yes, I've fallen asleep on the job. Do I regret it? Hell no. Because I got where I am today because of that. But those who know, know. Them cat naps, them five second naps turn into five minutes. Boy, it'd be the best damn five minutes of your life. <laughs> hey, you guys, I've fallen asleep on a job before. Shout out to all of my hustlers and go-getters with two jobs. Shout out to everybody that's grinding right now. Uh, next question. Never have I ever met a celebrity. Actually, yes, I've met Christopher Reed, the guy from Kid and Play. I met him. Uh, I met Fabulous. Yeah, I haven't met too many celebrities, you guys. I haven't met too many celebrities. But I do want to meet the following people. I want to meet Cole. Excuse me, reverse that. I want to meet Drake, Cole, Kendrick, Janet Jackson, uh, Jill Scott, Ella May, her, uh, Riri, it's my wife. I definitely got to meet Riri. Baby, she just had another one. Shout out to Riri. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, but those eight people that I've just named, I would love to meet. Patty LaBelle. What? We can do this all day, you guys. But no, the, the two celebrities that I've named that I've met, I'm so grateful. They were really cool people. They were very chill. The ones that I've named, the eight people, oh, it's coming. It is coming. But no. I've met two celebrities, you guys. Never have I ever, and this is the final question, you guys. Never have I ever bought something for someone and regretted it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I can say multiple times that I bought people things and they just, like, didn't appreciate it or... Didn't appreciate you or just did it so that they could get that gift or get that benefit. Like, you know, I just, I hate it. But yes, I bought and done things for people that I instantly regret that I haven't done. Just because it's like, not me doing it. I don't care about me doing the thing or doing a favor for them or doing, it's just me doing it out of the kindness of my heart. And for people to play with you after the fact or during the fact, yeah, that's not cool. That's not cool. So, yeah, I bought something, and I wish like hell I can take that shit back. If I find a couple of them, I'll kick their damn door down and take that shit back. Who? What Teddy Bear? Now, this one, I bought this. This was $14.95 during Valentine's Day. This is my shit. <laughs> hey, no, you guys, I'm joking, I'm joking. But, no, they can keep that shit. They can keep that shit, because why would I take something back to gain anything that reminds me of that person no no no, no i'm joking um all right this is the end of the video i don't want it to end i don't want it to end you guys i'm having so much fun i'm having so much fun with you today having so much fun no you guys this is the end of the video <laughs> i'm a character you guys all right, this is the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tap that notification bell so that you guys can know when I post another video. Tell your friends. Tell your moms. Tell your dads. Tell your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, your uncles. Tell your dog. Tell your pet gerbil. Tell your pet snake. Tell everybody. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tap that notification bell so that you guys know when I post another video. Until next time, I'm Beyond Favorite. Signing out. Peace.